Claps fam, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Badger Makes, art with badges. We're continuing Sci-Fi Timber. As you guys know, we've been working on that in the last few days. We are going to be working on day 10, which is technically tomorrow. There's about 30 minutes left of the 9th. So day 10, we're going to be working on tonight, and we may even have time to get day 11 started, if not finished. So that's the goal tonight. If there's anybody else hanging out, they're welcome to join me as usual. So um, I'm going to get this camera over here situated, and then we will get started. So if you're here, and hanging out, make sure you say hello so that I can know you're here with me. And we'll just uh, get started here in just a sec. There we go. All right. Transition this over. And now we're all set music up a little bit. I guess it is up. I think you guys can. Yeah. Okay. Off we go. Today's word is retro. I've got a little throwback art. It's not any particular movie or anything. I got like this giant headed alien guy. Framing out where we want all of the elements to go. Anybody watching this didn't get a chance to watch Half Stars tonight. Boy, was that an amazing show. Highly encourage the replay watch on that. That was amazing. 
not only was Mr. Burke debuting as co-host alongside the lovely Carrie Long, but they had the special guest of the evening, Brian Ramirez, and he is a force of talent. Um, and I know he's live right now. I hope everyone's over there chilling with him, giving him the love that he deserves because he is so talented. Super cool guy. Alright, what do we got here? Got like this collar thing. I guess I should not be focused on the details just yet. It's stuck. They, the elements suck me in and I want to work on the details before we're even done framing things out. Here comes Mr. Burke. Working his way into the studio. Calm that down a little bit. Good lord. It's Joe! How are you, buddy? How are you doing? Hey, hey. What's going on, Lizzie Badger? It's been an exciting evening. It's been okay. It's been okay. Just, just okay. It's just <laughs> been a little all right. Oh, man. Oh, my I'm gosh. What a ride tonight, dude. You must be on, like... Cloud nine and three quarters or something. It's pretty exciting. I got to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, it's kind of exhilarating. And of course, Brian goes live right after the show and he's just continuing. He's, he's a slaying. force, man. He's just yeah. like, he's a beast. I was like, I didn't want to leave his stream, but I was like, I have to draw. <laughs> he is a beast. I'm not going to lie to you. I have to draw. He is a beast. It must happen. So, thanks for coming over to say hello. Hey, no problem. I'm uh, getting ready to retire to the man cave tonight. I've been watching um, Christopher Nolan's Batman series on HBO oh, Max. Oh, that's a good one. And I just finished Batman Begins yesterday, so I'm going to go right on into the Dark Knight with uh, Heath Ledger's Joker tonight. The best one. I think it's amazing, yes. Yeah. It's but, pretty um, freaking amazing. Yeah. So how's how's things in your neck of the woods? What's what's new with badges? Busy always, you know. Um, hey Willie, how are you? Um just you know, different day, same schedule, different <laughs> week. <laughs> SS, SSDD. Yeah, basically. Uh just trudging along. I had a really funky sleep last night. Um I was so tired. Josh wanted to watch The Witcher, so I sat down and watched that with him for a little bit, but then I the dozed season off. one? Yes. No. It's like the... Not not the... the oh, the animation. The little animated thing. Um, I got probably about halfway through it, and I was snoring. Oh, and it wasn't because it was boring. It was because I was exhausted. Yeah, you're mentally I was exhausted. so tired from running all day. So... Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and went to bed and laid down and I and he went to go get in the shower and all that good stuff and settle in for the night and uh I was I passed out. I was I was done. As soon as he got in bed and was like, you know, flip flopping, settling, moving the sheets around or whatnot, it woke me up. Oh boy. And I could not go back to sleep. And so I was like, well, I'll just play on my phone for a little bit. Then he got grouchy because it was a bright screen in a dark room and whatnot. So I was like, fine, I'll leave. And then I was up till like I didn't go I didn't go back to bed until four. Jeez. And I was like, I have to go to sleep. I have to function because you know, um, Ethan's been home this week because he's been quarantined. Um, not sick at all, but just out of extra precaution. Sub -nanners. He's been doing the homeschool thing this week. So I have to be teacher mom during the day and make sure he's staying on task and all that. So I definitely had to have some sleep. So thankfully a light school workload today and so as soon as he got done i was like dude go play video games or youtube or whatever mama's taking a nap um, mama's, <laughs> mama's going for taking a, while. a nap i slept until i had to pick up abby um so uh that was a really good catch up on sleep so i'm feeling pretty darn good right now well that's all awesome. out through the day i was well, so for... glad that you guys had such a good show to we open did. up the new season and we really did it was a it was a blast 
So such um, good chemistry between you guys. It was amazing. Yeah, we 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 got something special going on there, and um, it's it's very unique. That's for yeah. sure. No no dis discredit to the, any of the previous hosts, but oh, absolutely not. Um, it's uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry to hear that you've been up since four, Hannah. Here comes the lovely Des. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Desiree. Hi. I wonder Hi, if she's. Sweetheart, uh, how are you? I wonder if she stopped swooning yet. Oh my gosh, I'm still swooning. What? <laughs> are you swooning, girl? <laughs> Oh, man. I'm a swooner. I'm still I'm still on a performance high of how how amazing that all went for all you guys. Yeah, I gotta say, we man, know. for season three, it, there was no hiccups, there was no glitches. Oh. Um, Audio and, sounded good. And then Foamy's brand new intro. Oh my gosh, that was fire! When you sent you sent me that this afternoon, I was like screaming at my phone. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty legit. So, what do you think, Desiree? You're amazing, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're amazing uh, in all the right like, ways. Well, you know, you guys did really good tonight. That was awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's definitely good to get back into the um, the whole broadcast thing, you know. Oh, yeah. I haven't definitely. done it in a while, so that was nice. Um, I, and I broadcast on here. I'm talking about like you know radio style host interviews. Yeah, like done, you're running the show. I haven't done ship. that in a while. Yeah. So I mean, that's... in a way, Pop X does that, but we kind of equally share bits of it. So I mean, it's, it's we're just a, you know. we're just three nerds talking about the geeky stuff. It's true. I mean, there's <laughs> it's not like I'm sitting there interviewing a musician or you know a famous it's painter or a it's a poet. little different. I'll admit, yeah. it's a little different. It's a little different. Um, glad I updated my um, my broadcast tab on my website. I uh, updated it uh, recently uh, to include some of the radio interviews I've done in the past. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was able to track down a few of them, which is pretty cool. Um, Bethany That's a Hamilton. nice find. Yeah, Bethany Hamilton, uh, the girl that got her arm bit off. Um, yeah, the shark. By the shark. Thing we were talking yeah. About the other um, day. What's it called? She had a movie come out too. I can't remember the name of it. Surf's up. Some, Was it Surf's, Surf's up? Surf, Surf something. Um, but I um, I put that on my website. Uh, Todd Rundgren, the rocker. I uh, got an interview with him. The guy is, wrote the "I want to bang on your drum all day." I don't want to work. I just want to bang on your drum all day. Uh, then Rebecca Julia Brown from the movie School of Rock with Jack Black. She was the <gasps> The kid that rock and rolled on the guitar. Yes. Wow. And Brewer and Shipley, an old 70s toker band that wrote One Toke Over the Line, Sweet Jesus, One Toke Over the Line. Um, so those interviews are now on my website. Oh. I pulled some, pulled some from the collective archive of Joseph Burke Radio nerdiness. There you go. Mm. Yay. Man. Definitely gonna be going over there watching those, <laughs> listening to those. Well, they're audio, yeah, they're audio. Yeah, listening. But uh, I'm not on very long tonight. I'm gonna retire yeah. here very shortly. Unwind. But I wanted. I saw the badges was on, and I was like, "Oh, Theus is on," and then the other Theus logged in. So I've got yeah. two Theuses here, and, here and now everybody's are. just being Theuses. We're just being here, and Ella's <laughs> here now too. Oh, you know. there's there's the bunny girl. What's up, Millie? Oh, How you bunny. doing? Funny, Ella, Mama. what do you, Ella? I heard you got a little contact from one Miss. Well, I can't say anything. Hi, Mel. Thanks for stopping you, through. Are you uh, going to take her up on that offer? There, you know, <gasps> is she going to be on Hap Stars? I don't know. It's up to her. Ooh. Hi, Mel. <laughs> Mel, you, it's sweetheart. a pleasure having you stop in. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ella. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the Creative Genius Award. I gave my last bit of coin to Brian Ramirez. I I, I tossed <laughs> mine at, at the Hap Stars fam tonight. I had like so. a 1180 coins, and I was like, eh, what the hell? I'll just give him. Yeah, just, just cash him out over there. I was saving him up for the fundraiser, and I was like, meh. <laughs> meh. <laughs> Everybody else is going to be throwing Brian's money in coins. Awesome. I was we'll like, just what? go ahead. 
Just go ahead and drop yeah. it all in there. Just drop it all over here. Drop it like you know it. <laughs> Just drop it. Just drop it like a pool. So did anybody see the Matrix 4 trailer today? <gasps> I just posted it here on Hap. I, so I that. saw that come through about 2 o'clock this afternoon, and I watched it on my 70-inch you know 4K TV. It was really random. What? Steven Caggiano sent that to me. Oh, Steve, I, I've actually been talking to him on and off for the past few weeks. I haven't you'll talked me, to him in so long, and then all of a sudden I get this nugget. random message with a video to the trailer, and I was like, "Um, that's amazing. I'll take anything with Keanu Reeves in it. Well, he's and, on Clubhouse. <laughs> Caggiano's on Clubhouse right now. Well, Is not he? now, but currently he's, he that's where he's there. been. Yeah, It's a good place to hang out. Yeah. You know us Matrix fans have been waiting for something like this, though. Oh yeah, I was a little, dis- I was a little weird not to see Lawrence Fishburne come back. As, yeah, that uh, was a little strange. Yeah, that was weird. As but Trinity's back. I mean, that was nice. Yes, but they she didn't know him. I'm wondering what the story arc's going to be there. Like, you know, why doesn't she know who Neo is? Thank you, Yasin and Ella for the award. It kind of looks How like he you, doesn't Yasin? even know what's going on either until yeah, like, he finds out like himself. He's been. Like rebooted. He's, he's been yeah. It's, it's like his psyche has been somehow taken over or something. He had way too much John Wick vibes though. I was like, yeah. I I was really feeling the John. That's what Wick he's vibes. good at. That's what Keanu's good at. Yeah, though, I think he was created to action. be a John Wick. He's yeah, just he, too sexy. He is John. Oh, he is sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that good. Venom is in the Spider-Man Two video game? Oh, I already saw that too. Yeah, did you see Wolverine? Yes. Um, yeah, girl, I'm Josh already over that. I'm already on top of that. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I I have no doubt in my mind. My phone You're blows up anytime like Marvel five steps ahead of everything. Yeah, anytime Marvel releases something, and my phone goes off, I'm like, oh, cool. I see. Yeah, Spiky <laughs> calls you first before release. <laughs> Spiky, I wish. <laughs> uh, home kickoff with the win. Bucks won tonight. Yes, let's go. Congrats. I'm not a big Cowboys fan anyway, so I'm glad they I'm glad Brady and the crew kind of decimated them. Sorry, okay. Badge. Are you a Cowboys fan? Only by location, not by heart. No. Oh, I'm a college sorry. girl, remember? Oh yeah, you're obligatory location proximity is the only tie that I really have to it, honestly. In the fourth grade, grade, I may or may not have had a starter jacket pullover just because it was what everyone else was wearing because oh they God. actually won things like Super Bowls. Oh, yeah, that's, that's when they had Emmett Smith, though. Yes, exactly. That's when they had Dion and Emmett. And Dion and Emmett. Yes. The magic, too, man. It's like Gronkowski and Brady. And right um, the other guy that's a sportscaster now. <laughs> I used to be a fan guy. of Denver Broncos, but as soon as Peyton Manning, like, Retired. I was like, I'm hanging up my NFL. Good old Pace. Well, that whole bit. ball club. When he retired, that whole ball Chicken club. Chicken parm, kinda... you taste so good. Oh, oh I love that. I do like some <laughs> chicken parm. I actually named my daughter after him. Oh, Peyton. Yeah, but it's A Y awesome. instead of E Y. But also, like the movie. Um, what was it? The the football movie with a. Uh, the gr- little girl named Peyton. Ga- the game plan, yeah, because I wanted Peyton to have like a movie with her name in it. And I tell you, a good blood football awesome movie, movie to watch. You ever seen The Blind Side? Yes, that's so good. Is Sandra Bullock in it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it's cry absolutely like amazing. Rad. And facing the oh, Giants. Hey, Dee, how are you? Well, that's a good What's one up? too. Yeah, facing the Giants is great. Was it the Titans or like? Uh, it was a Which Georgia one? University was the, uh... right? Are you guys still talking about Blindside? <laughs> Did uh, I just lose my mind? I said facing the Giants, which is more of oh. a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Possibly Giants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my it's... brain just got lost. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's 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 a play on here? words. Are we alive? The, the Giants <laughs> is um, actually that in which you fear the most, so... Yes, yes, yes. It's more of a play on verbiage. Yes, doing well, thank you. Alrighty, ladies. I think I'm going to go become a vegetable for a while. My brain is like Swiss cheese. 
Enjoy your so, evening. I will. I will. Um, I won't be on. A hug. Tell Heath I Ledger will. we said hello. Uh, a couple things you guys probably want to know about me <laughs> before I go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be on Peter Bittner's show on Monday at 3. Peter? What? Yeah, Peter Bittner. You know how they do that? Like, they interview people from the platform. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the creator highlight thing. That yeah, I'll be on the creator highlight Monday at 3 Eastern. That's and exciting. On, on is it Wednesday? The 15th, I'll be on with Lucia on mental health awareness. Can you I write all this down on the, there with in you. the messenger? So I yeah, can here, I'll, remember. I'll, pop, I'll type it here. Or, or where do you want me to put it? In our messenger on Instagram. Messenger on Instagram. Okay. The creative multiverse. Multiverse. Okay. Of I'm <laughs> Des, did you, you ever did you ever figure out the Discord thing? No. Oh, well, I mean, we uh, I have it. Girl. I have it. But my in order to have haps on my phone, I had to delete Discord off my phone. Oh. Well. There wasn't enough memory. <laughs> Can you access it through your laptop? Probably. Because it's it's not just an app; it's also on the web too. Oh, so. <laughs> just a just a thing to think about. Uh, Thank you, Peter from Hats. What's that called? Creator Spotlight or something? Something like that. And that's what day again? Monday. 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 With Monday. Haps team. It's a busy Pee week Pops. for me. Then I was I got, talking to Peter and Pablo earlier today. I got Monday with Peter, Wednesday with Lucia, and then back to back to Haps stars wow. on the 16th. It's a busy week next week. And then Pop X mm -hmm. that Sunday. That's right. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a busy week. Captain so. Rehab, how are you? Are you back home from your trip? Your cruise? Captain Rehab has been cruising through Alaska. Oh. Yeah, what is that called? Suicide? Hi, suicide Mental Wellness. I found the name of this with Lucia. Yeah. He is a regular celeb. Everyone needs to rub up on his subs. Just get up in there. <laughs> no, <laughs> that sounds so naughty. Get up that in weird. That I'll take it though. I'll take a good grind any day of the week. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. No, man, not at all. Oh, now you're going to get that song stuck in my head. Mm -mm. There ain't nothing wrong. With a little bump and cry. Oh, sing it, girl. <laughs> I have blood flowing in weird parts of my body. That's awkward. Anybody need hand sanitizer? <laughs> Hold your hand out. That's the awesome. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. You, fire. you need some hair gel, Lens? Don't do it. Don't uh, do it. No. What? No. What are we rubbing? No. You're rubbing on the sub button. I need That's live what we're rubbing. <laughs> also, I'll be live. We'll You're rubbing there. on the subscription button to Joseph Burke. If you need to Why? rub on more things, perhaps the notification bell is another option that you can look into. All right, so there you go, Desiree. Thank you. You're welcome. I just got notified. <laughs> Yay. It came in. Joe, did you see my Stranger Things kits that I drew? Uh, I believe I did in past. I have honestly not been on social media that you much you today. You've been a little feller. I have really not been on that. <laughs> Alex was off work today, so we... Um, yeah. <laughs> Alex was off work, and um, we decided to do adult things. They were oh. adulting. So... Netflix and chill. Sure, if that's Netflix. what you want to call it. 
extra chill on that Netflix day. <laughs> oh. Adulting, yes, adulting things. <laughs> I don't want married, to. All I gotta say. <laughs> yes, that, that's the extra rubbing. So, Chris Gale's got a half a million views I tonight. That. That so it crazy. is ridiculous. The dude is freaking killing it right now. Yeah, he's Amazing. definitely established himself as a force in the world of Reddit. He is, you know, on Reddit, have you guys figured out that Haps does... Okay, first of all, did you know that Reddit has live streams? For one, because I didn't no. until about a month ago. I did not. Um, two... And you would think that I'd be the first to know as much as my husband streams through go. or goes through there. Bye, Joe. Have a wonderful Bye. night. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. Don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. So <laughs> 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 Anyways, so, um, yeah, so Reddit does live streaming. Haps has an account on Reddit as, I guess, some sort of tester account or whatnot i have no idea how it works i am not that technical in that world um so haps has been testing the multi-streaming aspect of it with a few of the streamers here on haps and so chris gales is one of them and they have a subreddit called haps music if you search for it on reddit you can find the feed and see all the replays but um <laughs> I'm right there with you, Ella. I'm right there with you. I know about as much as you do on there. That's not my world. Hi, CS. How are you? You're Hi, welcome to join CS. us if you'd like. If not, you can chill. That's that's cool, too. Um, so when they stream there, you can go in there and you can they can comment just like you do on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. But there's a higher volume of people there. And some of them, I hear, are not so kind. So um, you have to have a thick skin to stream over on the Reddits. Um, I hear it's very similar in styling to Periscope. But I have not personally streamed there myself, nor do I exactly have any desire to do so. Unless it was to like an art channel or something. Yeah, I asked about that this morning during the first meeting. Oh, were you in the first meeting? I was not able to make it to the first one. I was able to make it to the second one. I'm glad you asked about it, though. Um, they've been very hush-hush about it because I think they're just kind of slowly rolling it. I am... Portrait does not do art justice. It's not nearly as flexible with uh, presenting your work at all. But it works better for other platforms. Like... It works fine for music. Music is pretty flexible. You can do it either way. Cooking, I think they seem to like to do it portrait mode a little easier because you're able to, in, to see like the whole stove and like the prep area and whatever. I don't know. I think it'd be cool if they did some cooking shows over there. That would be fun. I don't know. I've never been a fan of the Reddit concept, so I don't see my personal place being there unless there is some drastic change. Peter, <laughs> how are you, dude? Oh, it's almost like you were lurking as I was talking about Reddit. <laughs> is this a new Peter? If you guys don't know Peter, Peter is the CTO. He's in charge of all the techie things that make the things work. Oh, hi, Peter. What's up, Peter? <laughs> so Reddit's basically like a place to get more views. Yeah, definitely. You could definitely get more views. Peter. <laughs> I like to call this Peter, Peter 2.0, just because he came here second. He The, our, <laughs> the Peter we know and love is always going to be number one in my heart. But it doesn't mean I love you any less, Peter number two. He seems to be a good sport. Whenever they hired him on, um, I liked their little interview with him. He has a good personality. But other than that, I don't think I've ever seen him cam up other than that one time. Please tell me if I'm wrong, Peter. 
Except for that, you know, that five second test where you were just staring at the screen. I did see that one. That one was fun. Tests are fun. <laughs> He's like, you dang it. For mine. <laughs> dang it, she's stalking me now. I see all. Okay, maybe not all because you guys hide a bunch of stuff from us, but um, I wouldn't be against seeing all because I'm bored a lot. No, she, don't let her fool you. She's a deep diver. I, 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 I do deep dive. I get to know these people. I get to know the stuff. I get to know the things. Welcome to our conversation about rubbing. Wow. Yes. Um, if you want to continue that, um, I would suggest rewatching this and check the replay to get context before we yeah. continue on with the uh, rubbing situation. Oh boy. It had to do with, uh, sharing buttons and notification buttons and rubbing them the right way to make them sing for you. <laughs> yes. Or something like that anyways. I'm a troublemaker. But that's okay. That's why we love you. I too can be a snarky little turkey at times. <laughs> snarky turkey yes that's me i am the snarky turkey do you gobble um only on thanksgiving <laughs> oh des i was gonna share something with you i actually took a picture <laughs> of it and i got too distracted by brian's amazingness that i forgot to send it um right. look what i found on your button oh oh you found those oracle cards they are so pretty is that the case for your oracle cards no these are the cards like the material like that's around oh them. this yeah the bag yeah the bag has little it's little winter fairies are what i keep my cards in oh that's so perfect i've had these forever and ever and ever like i think I bought these in Denver, Colorado when I was visiting my aunt for like my senior trip after I graduated high school. That's how old these are. Oh my gosh. But look how pretty the artwork is on these cards. They're a phenomenal. Wow. I was like, yeah, there's a reason why I picked these because I remember her, she took me to a shop that had like all the, you know, the crystals and the stones and the incense and all the smelly good things and you know, all the mystically fun things that you want to touch and feel everything. Um, yes. And then they had, you know, all of these different decks that I chose. This one's the one that spoke to me. Oh, look at her. The fairy godmother. Oh, she's pretty. I love so the faces I, on the back of them. Look at, look at the detail in there. All these different little fairies hi troy yeah but here's the back the back is actually a card in this deck it's just repeated on all the backs of all of them but there is one card that's double-sided like this those are amazing i'm gonna blink one it's called the fairy guide but yeah i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna have to show des because these were like hiding in a box of just random stuff whenever i was sorting through all my craft supplies i had forgotten that they were up here and i knew that i had the book because it was downstairs on my bookshelf but i didn't know where my cards were at oh maybe you can use them one day oh here's the one it's the uh the topsy turvits is what these are called In the front and the back is the same, which makes sense. These are topsy turvies. Oops. My goodness. My goodness. Indeed. Yes, yes, yes. So, oh. Troy, you've had quite the exciting night, sir. <clears throat> what are oracle cards? Do they tell fortunes? They're they're tarot cards, essentially, is is what they are. It's just the title, the name of the deck is... Well, yeah, basically, 
a tarot card it, it goes along a, a storyline uh mm -hmm. each each card represents like the whole story of what went on with that entire like that deck um mm -hmm. of the tarot basically but the oracle cards are kind of like an intuitional energy so um whatever the art comes out from that that oracle card is sometimes you know it's a mystery for your own self to figure out from your intuition yeah so it can give you like one or two word phrases and you kind of just go along with whatever your gut's feeling at that time you just kind of spill so out reminds me of like so. the labyrinth or something it's so cool <laughs> like i was trying to study tarot for a little bit but i, I can't get along with the storyline i'm not really good at memorizing 70 yeah. something cards i'm not either so That's why i was like yeah this book's good I like oracle <laughs> this book's great <laughs> <clears throat> This is so cool. Those I haven't seen so these gorgeous. in years, like decades. I haven't seen these since I was like my early 20s. It's probably the last time I saw these. Wow. They definitely mis uh, match your personality. They're beautiful. And back then I was much more into more of the spiritual thingies. Like figuring out energies and what color represents what and all that stuff. Not so much anymore. I've totally forgotten most of it. I'm sure I would jump right into it if I looked it up again. But um, <laughs> I studied a little bit of it, but not just enough to, you know, know a little bit. Finagle. Yeah. A bit. A bit. <laughs> you know, that phase in your life where you're like, um, I was raised in a tiny ass baptist town and that's not me so i've got to figure out what it is so <laughs> this was part of that journey <laughs> <laughs> did you finish your self-portrait i assume that's des not fez she's working on it right now i like that name though from that 70s show <laughs> fez, is, fez is great yeah he is fez is awesome but... just He's trying He's trying so it. It's still not working. Like, gosh, dang it. Dag, nabbit, So anyways, I, I felt like I had to share. That was like a, a drive to like share that with you. I was like, I don't even know if she's going to care, but I just feel like I need to show it anyway. I love it. Oh, little man. I can see you doing like a little show with it in a way. Oh, I would have to get, I would really, ha we would have to reintroduce ourselves to each other again, um, the card deck <laughs> and myself, before any of that happened. Yeah. Um, because I honestly don't even remember what all of those mean at all. So um, it would definitely take some reading. Um, yeah, I swear at my autocorrect a gajillion times a day. I have, yeah, and you well, can't I have it on your phone. thumbs. <laughs> yeah, you can't change it on your phone at all. And a lot of the broadcasters on here are so fast to read the comments that they read your comment way wrong because you typed it wrong, obviously, before you can fix it. <laughs> right? <laughs> and they're like, uh, that sounds dumb, basically. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it's my thumb's fault. I swear I don't ride the short bus to school. Maybe. <laughs> Who's the big-headed guy? It is an alien. The day the day's word is retro, and I'm just doing like a retro style, like cosmodot scene with a couple of a a astronauts that are wearing un really retarded outfits and some funky-looking alien guy. It's not from anything specific that I'm aware of. Almost reminds me of Green Lantern in a way. Because I was thinking about doing something that was like more of an IP style like I've been doing. But I was like, eh, I'll change it up. Um, I was honestly, I was like, going to do the uh, the new Coca-Cola girl from Fallout, but I had just recently done Fallout. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do something different. You have such you and you and Jeremy like come up with such cool ideas for these days. I'm like, man, that would take me a week to create. <laughs> I dig cerebral dudes. Yeah. Well, this guy's definitely a cool little guy. 
I've never really drawn anything like him before, so this is kind of interesting. Little adventure. Who's the dude with the big blue head? He's like a cartoon. The dude with okay, cartoon from Will where? Ferrell. Will Ferrell plays him. He's like a bad superhero. Oh, uh, Mega Mind. Mega Mind. Yeah, I it believe. reminds me of, like Mega Mind mixed in with he the voiced, bad guy from Mega Green Mind? Lambert. I was unaware yeah. of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's that's the correct. <laughs> What? Yeah, Mega Mind, and I've only—I think I've only seen like part of that. I didn't see the whole thing. <laughs> I'm having to remind you of the voice actors. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Aquafina. You are, yeah, you've got to keep me straight. I am the worst with names. The worst with names. It's but like you know as soon as I hear that one thing on that one thing. That one thing? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how I describe my movie experiences. You know that one person that played that one character on that one thing? <laughs> People are like, what? <laughs> you have to look it up. <laughs> Reddit just sent me an email. Why did Reddit just send me an email? Because I commented on somebody's stream, probably. Let's see what this says. You have a new message from Welcome Bot. Welcome to Haps News. Okay. Well, apparently, if you follow something, it will send you a welcome message. Good times. All right. Noted. Moving on. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to joining. And, like, honestly, I don't even know why I'm here, but I am. <laughs> um, my husband loves, loves, loves Reddit. He loves surfing the message boards and reading all of the comments because usually they're really, really funny, depending on what it is, honestly. But um, he's always been like obsessed with it. And that's never really been a thing for me <laughs> at all. Um, I just didn't ever find any value in using that platform. But if there's live streaming going on over there, I might have hmm. to change my mind about that. <laughs> yeah, Veda streams over there all the time. Yeah, it's on it's on the Haps News account. Or the there Haps has a Haps News and a Haps Music accounts. The, there's just the two of those. And um all the streamers from Haps share that same account. So they're somehow lock, locked into like a, I bet it's not, I I don't, I get lost easily. I need somebody to like hold my hand and figure out which buttons to push. <laughs> um, I always have to use the search bar to <laughs> search for haps and then I'll find whatever's live at the moment. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's not the easiest to navigate currently, but, um, yeah, it's just a, a handful of users are having access to it to test it out to see how it streams and how it performs and all that stuff. From, that's, that's what I'm under, from my understanding of what I've watched and seen. Because I've seen Carrie do it, I've seen, obviously, Chris Gales. Brian was streaming there tonight. That's the first time I've seen him stream there tonight. Oh, oh, he's been streaming there community. for a little bit, I think. Has he been? I wasn't sure. Yeah. I guess I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's been... Um, did Chris Monty, I think, did Reddit as well? Yeah, he has been for a while. Okay, cool. Um, I think Chris Monty's done it. Um, also, the on the Haps News channel, I know Chantel has. Claire Means, yeah, she's done the music channel, and Emma. I've seen a lot more streamers doing the music than the actual um, Haps News account. Because I think they're trying to keep that more journalism focused. I 
I'm just I just learn it day by day step by step there's so much stuff out there I get confused <laughs> Troy, are you over in the Discord? Does that work with your um, your voice reader thing? The voice to text stuff, your programs that you use? I don't know how well that integrates into that stuff. I'm trying a new playlist tonight, so let's hope that I don't get in trouble by any of the tracks. Fingers crossed. I'm not over there. I don't know a lot about it. Um, as good as you are at collaborating with people, <laughs> I would say play around with it. Because uh, if the community can... It's, it's really going to be community driven on how su successful it is. And the more you can get the community to come together in one place, the more collaboration can happen a lot easier so that you're not having to bounce between Facebook and Twitter and IG and all the different DMing stuff because you can do all of that on that one spot. Discord server has individual channels established for the different like genre of people in a couple of other different topics but you can also private dm you can video chat you can voice chat privately and within the public channels of the server so i can hook you up with that i can definitely hook you up with that um they just yesterday or the day before asked me to be part of the moderation team on the discord i have no idea what that means or what that entails but um i said sure i'll help out if i can part of that means i can send you an invite if you're a regular broadcaster yeah and there's a lot of hesitation because there's there you're not alone i'm new to it too i've just i watched youtube channels Honestly, I watched YouTube to figure out how to get started on Discord <laughs> before just like maybe a month before Haps decided to start theirs. I was curious about Discord anyways and kind of self-taught myself watching some videos on how to start your own server and how the little ins and outs work. And that helped a ton understanding how it works. But it's very, very simple. It's, it's a message board, essentially. Um, and you'll see that it's it's really not as complicated as it looks. <laughs> um, and it works seamlessly with mobile and on desktop. So I'm really uh, I'm really kind of excited about how it works because you can you can be uh, you can send friend requests to other users that are on the server, and then that way you can do private messages, you can do private video chats, you can do group chats that are not a part of the actual like not everybody can see it there are the the side channels that are on the server most of those are public and everybody can see your stuff um collaboration wise or whatever but then there is that private sector as well and i think a lot of people don't realize that that part is there and so they're like no i just want to do instagram which i get but I'm really trying to, I'm, I've been really trying to advocate for the art community to move over there because Michelle and I are literally bouncing between three different chat groups to get the same thing accomplished that could all happen very easily on Discord. And they would also be seeing all the updates because this Discord is for like the regular broadcasters only. It's not open to just everybody. They made that very clear today <laughs> in our little meeting uh, that they're not trying to make it a big, huge thing. What's up, Carrie? How are you? Oh, hi, beautiful lady. <laughs> what a big night you've had, dollface. 
How fun was the show? I enjoyed it. It was so fun. I love the vibes and the chemistry between you and Joe. You guys rocked it. Yes. And I loved your Les Mes song. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever heard you sing that before. You know, I have to tell the truth. I, I didn't like the movie because I didn't go ha even halfway through the movie. But her mm -hmm. singing that made me want to watch the entire movie. Oh my gosh. Carrie, I was just talking to Troy about the Discord. I think you're on there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're on there. Cool beans. You'll have to shoot him an invite and get him on there so he can get in there and play. Or I can later, whenever I'm not streaming. But he was curious about how it all worked it would be so awesome if we could get all of the main streamers all in one place because we could definitely make some awesome Magic. things happen on the platform that way because otherwise it's like hurting cats to collaborate with people sometimes Ooh. i hear joseph isn't going to be able to yeah that is correct he's going to be on a trip that is correct. Oh, I could totally do that. I think that would be great. Yeah, if it's the same time as it was tonight, then yeah, I think I'll be free. If something changes, I'll let you know, but yeah. You know, Carrie, it's totally fine. <laughs> Just put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, Joe had briefly mentioned that he had threw my name in the pot for consideration. So, um, yeah, that's, I, I would be honored, madam. That would be great. But yeah, totally DM me the details, though, because I will forget if you don't. <laughs> yes, do it. Do it. Ooh, I'm totally digging this music. <laughs> I'm liking this too. You know what the name of this playlist is called? Rise of the Heroes. What? A two hour mix. Royalty free, synth wave, new retro, and outrun. Whatever that means, I, I'm digging yes. the vibe. I don't know what that means, but it works for me. Rise awesome. of the Heroes. Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shalom. Oh my gosh. Shalom Shabbat. <laughs> Play on Saturday. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, is it Friday now? Uh, it is officially oh, yeah. Friday. It is 12.29 a.m. in the central time zone. We have made it to the end of the week officially. Wahoo! Oh, yeah. So, originally, whenever we were doing the posse, you know I did Stranger Things for the day posse. Um... I was going to draw the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I was way too lazy. Thank you, Carrie. I like it too. Um, so I was just being lazy because I was like, I don't want to draw that many people. 
That's a lot and then of I was people. like, because origi <laughs> my original thought was like, oh, I could do the Avengers, you know, get some Marvel action thrown in there. And then obviously Jeremy did the silhouettes. But um, I was like, no, that's too many faces. I don't, I don't like drawing faces. I was trying to be, I could, you know, yeah. Prevent. I could see like your energy just going like, yeah. My whole fate, my whole, my whole life force would be sucked out of me trying to figure that out. So, um, I opted for Stranger Things, and it was actually by my husband's request because there's only four kids. You know, main boys is what it was focused on obviously there's other kids involved now but i went back to the original series for that um but i still wanted to do guardians because guardians is literally my favorite of all the marvel franchises is the guardians they crack me up i love them groot is my spirit tree animal mm -hmm. um cry. so <laughs> i'm going to i saved them for day 11 which is insignia and so i have the start of their insignia started over here i was doodling oh. well hat starsing so um that's gonna be tomorrow's because technically today is the 10th now so day 11 is insignia and so i'm going to honor my little guardians with their their insignia logo thing just a little sneak peek of what's coming and <laughs> i did not draw anything. at all yesterday no because i was so tired oh so tired after all the activities i knew that was happening it was not really a surprise to me so um i didn't feel so bad because i already have today's artwork posted on my instagram so you guys can go see my stranger things piece on padger makes it's just chilling there being awesome she's the bomb.com <laughs> 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 Why, thank you very much, my goodness. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is going to be for Friday's day. You gals are awesome. You may go to sleep. I'll catch you tomorrow. See you later. Good night, Troy. Yeah, sure. I thought the hair was awkward with this this picture, but it's the shirt that's awkward. <laughs> What's the shirt? It, it says on my on the shirt. Um, what does it say? I like long walks down the wa wine aisle. I like wa long walks down the wine aisle on the front of it. So I couldn't write the words. So instead, I just like. <laughs> put dark colors in between but uh -huh. like where the the ripples and the lines are for the shirt it's so difficult in a way because it's just like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> wow it's like that 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 light the extreme light to extreme dark transparent you know like yeah like, i know exactly what you're talking about But I am almost done with this. This is crazy. I hope you frame that sucker because that is amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> oh. Alright, we have some rocks. Go back and shade the texture in a minute. Well, it's like those pieces that like you really get working on. You're like, yeah, this is gonna be yeah. awesome. And then like you get midway through and you're like, Meh, throw this all yeah. to hell. Screw this one. And then you're like, I can't move forward without create finishing this one. So it's like There you go. <laughs> like that. Brian! Thank you for the nice view award. Holy smokes, man. Spoiling the heck out of me. Would you like an invite up or are you resting your voice because you've literally been going for hours now? 
Brian, he's the man. I'll send you one just honorarily. Yeah. You should rest, dude. How did Reddit treat you? I had to kind of bounce out early. I love you too, Brian. You are the sweetest human. He's the gem of haps. Yes. Oh, out of curiosity, Brian, how long have you been uh, streaming over to Reddit, by the way? Because we were discussing that earlier. Uh, they were as expected, lol, delivering on both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. It's a fun crowd, isn't it? A little bit special edge tonight. I don't know if you saw, but Chris Gales had like half a million views on his stream on Reddit tonight. In one stream. I've never that's it that's insane. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's been like one month. Yeah, Chris Gales is killing it. Totally. Um, I don't know what kind of magic concoction he used tonight, but, um, yeah, he was, he's amazing every time he goes live, whether it's on Reddit or not, it doesn't really matter, but, um, so crazy talented and a super heart of gold too. The most you've had is 60k on Periscope. That's still really good. Holy crap. I asked for his advice for that reason. Dude, I think it's just going to be consistency for you because you've got it. You've got it. You've got the smile. Your passion shines through with every song that you sing. And I mean, that's, that's one of the things Chris has too. He has that million dollar smile. He could literally sell toothpaste to a dentist you know i mean it literally has that smile you have that same like per charismatic Je ne sais quoi. energy charismatic energy that just emanates off of you guys i don't know what you do you should like bottle and sell that stuff on ebay or something i don't know man Amazing. First off, Brian's a Libra. That's that's always a given. Oh, well, there you go. Dude, and of course, <laughs> Brian, I'm going to keep saying all the nice things about you if you keep dropping me dollar awards. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Brian, one of these nights, you'll have to um, come up and play while we do art. That would be really fun. Yes, I give... Oh, You guys, anytime you guys go live, I always have you on. Even if I'm, like, lurking. <laughs> I'll have you on in my background just to hear you guys sing while I'm doing whatever it is that I have to do that I probably don't want to be doing at that moment. <laughs> Like sitting in the car waiting on my kid to get out of martial arts, for example. That's 40 minutes of my time. I'd really not want to sit in my car. But I get to hear my live streamers, so it makes it better. Um, I'd love to play to art. Absolutely. We need to make that happen. Brian, are you on the Discord? Because we need to change that if the answer is no. I'm going to... I feel like I'm selling Discord. I am selling Discord. I am selling free invites to Discord on haps for regular streamers today only. you're not dominating the chat the <laughs> you're amazing it don't matter <laughs> brian what is the easiest dm to get you the link and i will send it to you right now ig twitter if i have to um facebook i will make it happen I'm trying to convince all of the heavy hitters to uh, converge. Oh, the G. Okay, we can slide up in the Gmails. I'm going to do it right now. It's happening. Stand by. Copy. She's off on 
take off. <laughs> Look at this. It's happening right now. Uh, I have a camera in the way. Compose. Push the button. Subject. Discord link. Two halves. Go over the Discord. Copy the thing. And the thing. All right. It has been sent. You are now in the super secret club. Congratulations. Insiders. Information. Sweet. Yes. And then don't forget to friend me when you get there. I was like, I don't know what that is, but I dig it. <laughs> I can't type either whenever I'm on my phone. <laughs> Am I streaming on, over to the top of Ella right now? It's more, it's most likely I probably am because I usually do. <laughs> she usually starts while I go live. I haven't gotten a notification yet. I slide over there and say hi before I go to bed. I don't think she's live. Not yet. That's so cool that Ella's been invited to be on Hap Stars. That's awesome. So exciting to see everybody on there. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> you have to download Discord again. Well, I was never on Discord to start with. Haps is like my first thing. Well, okay, I'll take that back. I joined Lost's Discord. That's Lost TV is an artist, if um, you don't know who that is. Uh, Lost TV had a Discord that I joined with. And then Milk does art, has his own channel. So I had those. Um, I forgot that I started a Discord account a long time ago. And so I have Joe's channel, which someday he'll probably turn into the actual creative multiverse, which would be awesome. Oh my gosh. You can actually see on Discord, on my name underneath it, it says streaming art with badges on the Discord. Okay, that's cool as hell. I feel fancy. Okay, so anyways, I just <laughs> had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so shiny, shiny objects, techie things. They squirrel. make me squirrel. Yeah, squirreling happens. Hell yeah. So that happened. This dude looks like he has boobs. Why? Why does this dude look like he has boobs? I don't approve. <laughs> boobs? <laughs> I mean, if that's his thing, I'm not going to judge him, but it's not very masculine. Well, I mean, these cosmonauts don't really look that masculine anyways. The rib cages are all tiny and angled extra. And They're not human. Booty. Non-humans are, are supposed to look non-human. I don't know <laughs> if you all heard, but a member of HAPS passed away. Anchorman passed away this morning. <gasps> oh, no. no! 
Now, I didn't oh. know him very well, but I knew of him. Like I knew existence. Anchorman. Oh, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Oh, that's so sad. Thank you for letting me know, Debeth. I wasn't, I was not aware of that. Oh, much, much prayers sending out to his family. That's very unfortunate. Do you have a preference with pencils you use or stuffs? Oh, Brian. <laughs> you want to dive down the rabbit hole of art supplies? We could spend five hours talking about art supplies. Right now, I'm literally using a pencil I took out of my kid's drawer that they use for school. But um, I do have my favorite tools that I can use. Um, hi, Jeeves. Hello. Well, I just had like a whole mix of emotions in the last 30 seconds. I got excited about art supplies and incredibly sad about the loss of Anchorman. And I really yeah, don't, I don't even know, know to how to process right both of those at the same time. That's My a, heart that's is hurting moment. really bad now because like, yeah, him and I talked. Oh, wow. Joe, that looks amazing. Wow. Um, I don't know if you knew him or not, Joe, but there was a streamer on here called Anchorman. And uh, we just found out that he passed away. Do you know, was, was it COVID or, or was it something else? How did he pass, if you don't mind me asking, or do you know? Last time I talked to him, he was getting tested for cancer and like COVID and everything. Oh, and he no. came back negative for like all that. Or I think... I think for cancer, he came back negative. I don't remember about the COVID, but he wasn't feeling okay. He was really sick. And oh, okay. that was the last time I talked to him. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, email email Pablo or Peter and let them know if you have the details to share. Is it on Facebook? Found him dead this morning, passed yeah. away in his sleep. Oh, my gosh. Well, I, okay. Well, I'm glad he passed away in his sleep. That's always a really nice way to have somebody go. But that is so unfortunate. Hi, Mineral Man. Thank you for joining us. He um, was friends with uh, Eric Levette and uh, also friends with... Uh, what well, didn't he, he... Uke, right? Hung out with, yeah, with Luke, a lot, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I wonder if Uke's going to come on here and do a tribute for him then. She hasn't been on here in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I think Yuke moved on to, to Twitch because she was um, struggling yeah. to get along with uh, communicating with the team and whatnot. You sent Yuke a message. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for letting us know. That's oh. wild. Dang. Wow. He wasn't very old. No. Was he, he wasn't even in his, was he in his 40s? I don't even think he was that old, was he? Um, a so. streamer on Haps called Anchorman passed away. We're just finding this out. That is so unfortunate. Oh my goodness. I hate that. We've just experienced, just as the, Extreme as the world, sadness. Oh my gosh. The world it has is in like a lot of sorrow just overall and i wonder if vince knows oh that's right holy crud <laughs> they were friends they, like the they friends. were very close i remember whenever i first came on to haps it was eric anchorman and vince were like in every stream together for the hours and team. hours and hours <laughs> they they died they Put me as an honorary queen to their fart team. Oh, <laughs> wow. Like, okay. That's cool. <laughs> well, Vince did. You know, Vince. <laughs> yes. Oh. 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 <clears throat> I feel like everybody's passing away. Yeah, there's been a lot of loss in the last couple of years. I feel like everyone's feeling it. Even if it's not affected them directly, I feel like the residual energy is just looming over everybody. What in the world is this song? 
<laughs> Are we under attack? What's happening? It's an apocalyptic song. It sounds like it. <laughs> First Tuesday of the month? Let's <laughs> gonna move on to the next one. How about that? I don't even Does know. anybody else get first Tuesday of the month like he like huge loud horns going? First Tuesday of the month? Uh no. Mm -hmm. But we do test our tornado sirens at noon on Saturdays. Every Saturday. Unless there's inclement oh. weather. Okay. So that's fun. So it's about the same. Yeah. Yeah, because they do the first Tuesday a month and it's like a huge siren that goes off for like uh, oh, two God. minutes. Yeah. And it, it's like the tornado sirens, but they test them every Tuesday. Here in Who Illinois. is using Anchorman's account? I don't uh, know. It was him on there. Is that his son or family? I'm not aware. Here on this account? Because he has Facebook too. His brother did. Oh, just a few hours ago. Oh, okay. Man. <laughs> Those Danes, they've got an attitude of their own, don't they, Mineral Man? They keep you in line, I bet. Watching paint dry, that's funny. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Enjoy your movie. Healing prayers for all. Yes, thank you, Deb. You have a good point there, Joe. You have a good point. Can't feel bad for the man, just the family that's left behind, right? That's right. Good night. Love you too, Joe. Love you, brother. Was brought down really quick. <laughs> I know. I'm just like um, energy levels definitely changed. Whew! Heavy stuff, man. Yep. Most definitely.
Oh, I guess it would help if I moved over so everyone could see what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm like coloring <laughs> over here, just barely off frame. Just tootling away. <laughs> it looks so good. Thank you. I try. I try to make it look pretty. Guess I got a lot of prayers to do tonight. Yes. <laughs> Lots of good vibes to send out to the universe for everybody involved with that situation because that's so sudden. My goodness. At last, it felt like force feeding them. I'm glad you stopped in to share your feeding ritual with us, Mineral Man. I hope you have a wonderful day. Give the Danes a pat on the head for us. I'm trying to figure out what I want to draw after this. <laughs> um, have you given any thought to what you're wanting to draw for the fundraiser? Oh, you guys, you said um, for to do like a Louisiana. Yeah, Culture. Joe Joe had suggested doing something um related to the area that was affected and uh bayou any like Mardi Gras style stuff anything that you know Mardi Gras like sounds a, cool a, a nod to Louisiana I thought that would be a great idea and maybe you could just work on a like a smaller piece Yeah yeah because I would like to make sure that the donors that win the highest get it in like a decent amount of time without rushing anybody. That's what I, I really yeah. don't want to rush anybody. And I already told Bo, I was like, if you want these pieces to be good, they're not going to be done in an hour and a half. I said, we can get the majority of it probably knocked out, but the it's not going to be done in an hour and a half. I can tell you that right now or an hour. Because we have our our time slot is officially an hour, but Veda said that we may be able to kind of overlap an extra thirty minutes if we needed it to um, cover the next segment. It depending on because I think the llama guy, what's his name? Tom, Tim. Do you know who I'm talking about? No, hey, there's a llama guy. Hello? Hello. Hello. Am I on here? So? Yes, you're still here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're still here. <laughs> We're like, where did I go? Oh yeah, there's a llama guy here. Yeah, uh, there's there's a llama guy that hangs out with Beardo and Weirdo a lot, and I want to oh. say his name is Tim. Um, anyways, I think he is coming on after we are. And uh, Vedia was saying that he may be late, so we can run over and fill that time slot if we need to um but that's not guaranteed so we have like a guaranteed hour possibly an hour and a half to work live and kind of promote the fundraiser and the art thing that we're planning on doing and all that um but i'm thinking that as soon as our segment's done depending on what i have going on that day um i may go live either right after our segment or later that evening because it's a daytime stream late later that evening wait no no our segments at night sorry my brain had a fart i'm confusing it with another thing that lucy is asking me to do too um but yeah our stream's late at night and so i figured it's like if you guys were still up for continuing on with the art we could just start a stream on somebody else's channel and keep going yeah 
be cool. But I know that your style is take your time a little bit slower, and I don't want to rush you. I really don't. Well, um, this one I was thinking of, do, like, because I, I have my, one of these oil pastels. And yeah. I was, st- like, seeing some art people using oil pastels laid down first and then colored pencil. Ooh, or, like, yeah. something like that. And I've been kind of researching on that. I'm like, ooh, what can I do to, like, incorporate with the Mardi Gras, you know? That would be really cool. I was thinking about maybe doing, like, a possibly a still life with, like, the masks and the beads that have the bright purples and greens and oranges or not oranges golds i mean yes um possibly doing doing something like that (laughs) but i mean i i also considered doing like a landscape style piece that includes like the you know the ever the the swamp lands with like the trees with the moss hanging off of it and that sort of thing too i haven't really settled on anything i also thought about maybe doing just like a a musician playing a trombone or a saxophone or something that kind of re- harken back to the jazz or um i saw some really cool pictures of the french quarter the the tall multi-level building that has all the beautiful ironwork on it with like the ferns hanging off the edges and stuff would be really pretty little architecture Ooh, piece yeah. too. So um, I've, I've kind of just been trying to figure out what I want to wrap my head around and I want to do it in the style that I did like the tree frog and I want in the gummy bears and that stuff that took a little bit of extra time and effort into it because it is a gift saying thank you for participating um, and not a quick little drawing like this that took a couple hours, you know, yeah. <laughs> this is just me having a goof off fun time but um i haven't decided exactly what it is that i'm wanting to do lucia had a cool suggestion but i really honestly don't know how to logistically work that out would be um because i think it's going to be you and joe and myself for sure with the possibility of other people showing up but lucia was like well it would be really cool if you guys could figure out how to do like a triptych where each of you works on a piece and all the pieces come together into one piece i don't think that's going to work for the fundraiser but it's an idea we need to pin and revisit later because i think that would be so cool (laughs) oh my gosh yeah that would be really cool I don't think logistically it would work with the time constraint that we have and the uncertainty of how many people are actually going to show up. Almost like puzzle pieces, you know, like, yeah. Being so put together we could, as like, a picture. Yeah. Take like a, I don't know, a panoramic of something and then crop it into thirds and then send it out to the artist. And then all three of you work on it together. I think that would be the coolest. That would be so cool. Such a great idea. <laughs> There's Lucia so many cool things the, out there. Lucia has the greatest ideas. I don't think it'll work for our live stream this weekend. Because that takes a little more planning than I think we have time or nearly patience to do. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> you just, just be like, yep, I'm done. Out. I'm just happy I'm awake <laughs> during my streaming time. <laughs> if I'm here, I'm lucky. <laughs> I remember when you first started streaming on yeah. your own broadcasting. Yeah, you guys didn't know what you were getting into, did you? <laughs> like oh shit they let her loose oh it, you used to go on SIDS and just yeah. kind of joke well, it all G- around Jeeves, Jeeves knows the the shenanigans I get into but um, it's only because he he's known me for like 500 years <laughs> yes yes I'm a I'm a snarky troublemaker that's me um yeah i whenever i first got over on haps i was literally fish out of water 
when it came to the community because the majority i would say like 90 percent of the people that were here were all periscope users i didn't know any of them at all they were like oh my god carrie long live you're so famous i'm like who there i'm sorry who are you you know it, that's an example of kind of like the out of placeness that i felt whenever i got here and so i felt like it wasn't right for me to just start streaming <laughs> and not know anybody you're like i'm sorry who are you i'm, like, I'm sorry who are you um <laughs> that's funny so, oh. or yeah like foamy be like i'm sorry you do a puppet show um i i don't know what you do i mean i feel like i felt like an extreme outsider like completely dumb to everybody that was here same so i really wanted to take that time because i came i came here in like january and i didn't do my first stream until my birthday in april so i took that time to get to know people and that's why i was showing up on everybody else's streams because i was getting to know them in the chat god bless america this music got loud yeah, I know it it's not that loud for you guys, but it is for me in my ears. So I'm sorry if you can barely hear it. Anyways, um, so I would get to know them in the chat a little bit, and then they would invite me up, and I would hang out, and we would start to be kind of like buddies and whatever. And they were like, "Lindsay, what do you do?" And I was like, "Uh, I'm doing it right now. This is what I do, you know." And and I was not used to streaming my art, like I. <laughs> Joe and I would privately stream art with like a few select friends over on Get Vocal a long ass time ago. And that was like the first ever I had streamed art. Uh, that was not my thing. That was like a private thing. It was not like, this is my dog and pony show. Welcome to the Lindsay and Art show thing. <laughs> so Haps is, Haps is like the newest platform of this whole level of live streaming that I've been doing. And so that was just kind of, I had to ease in. You had to dip the toe and you got to ease into the water and adjust before, you know, start doing cannonballs off the side like a crazy person. You know, you can't just, <laughs> Bobby Shadow, <laughs> speaking of blast from the past, how are you, bud? I'm going to shoot you guys an invite. Jeeves, do you have an invite yet? Get up here if you haven't. There you go. <laughs> this isn't just an art show. It's a whatever you want it to be show. Um gaming right on bobby also knows bobby knows the shadow knows um yeah joe and i used to do shenanigan like talks talk show late night you know the the bullshit that we do here every night but except we're actually creating and doing things visually entertaining um, <laughs> <laughs> you know but I didn't even start camming up on Blab until, God, it took me a long time to hit the go live button. Holy smokes. Thanks for the self-care award. Michael Murray also hung out with us over in the Blab world. He knows. They know my origin story. You guys are awesome coming here and hanging out. I love you guys. I think I met you on Rev's channel. You did. I just kept laughing and laughing. I don't know why. <laughs> I was making fun of him. Was that what it was? I was giving him shit like every five seconds and it was hilarious. He was taking it well. He was a good sport. Um, But yeah, he would do something and it'd be like, so you're going to leave me uh, hanging for two minutes here? Well, uh, two minute bio breaks turn into 15 minute Lindsay solo shows. I think he thought that he was grooming me to be a live streamer. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm like, look, dude. <laughs> That's not how this works. <laughs> but, um, no. He, he dropped me like a bad habit fast. Because I called out Miss Thing. Which we won't discuss. But, um... Yeah, that pretty much stopped that right in its tracks, the whole rev thing. 
He showed his true colors that day. I see your true colors shining through. That's a good song. <laughs> see your true colors. That's why I love you. You never know what you're going to get with me. I'm just a walking variety show. <laughs> true that. <laughs> What an amazing show, though. All colors of the wind. Oh, my goodness. You're just being sweet. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, I love Sid. Sid's great. Um, he's an acquired taste. I originally was not a huge fan, but he grows on you. That was, like, back in lab days but now nah, he's 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 a sweet guy a little socially awkward but he's he's a sweet guy he means well <laughs> i literally thought him and helen were dating <laughs> the way he would talk i think a lot, <laughs> of, people like, oh. did. I think a lot of people did that was that was fun i was like i'm just not going to invest <laughs> I'm just gonna stand over here. I'll just be, yeah. Y'all just let me know how that works out. That's fun. Oh, I know he this song. He just disappeared. Uh, yes, he uh had several reasons for that. He still exists. He's still alive. He's still fine. Um, randomly, he will. Uh, post a live video of him cooking breakfast or eating breakfast or lunch. I have witnessed some of those. He will delete them afterwards as usual. But if you're missing some Sid action he still is around and kicking. I'll tell him you said hello. Because <laughs> I do. I, I, I technically work for him. Sort of. Um, no, there's no sort of. It's true. Uh... He does online schooling for like kids. He does like programming classes on a site called Out School. And they have several different other classes, all sorts of different topics, and whatever. But um, actually, Miss Peyton might like to take some of those classes sometime. But um, he has me help him with his scheduling. And like adding all the new lessons to all the new classes and stuff it's kind of repetitive grunt work of sorts so he can focus on all of his classes and grading work and teaching and that gosh darn thesis he's been working on for a decade that he's maybe still working someday on he'll finish he's still working on it he'll be i think he's gonna be working on that damn thesis until he dies <laughs> I don't think he'll know what to do with himself once he finishes it. What's the thesis about? He will finish. I know he's super close. He'll he's super duper close. Um, it's about programming and social media stuff. I'm not exactly sure what all of it's about, honestly. He's an interesting person, though. He is. He's very, very, very smart. Very, very smart guy. And very kind. He's a little snarky, but he's very kind. Just heading home from my studio. Nice. Oh, I noticed today that my Badger Makes Instagram account is two people away from hitting 400. I about crapped my pants today. Because <gasps> I don't really pay attention to that so much. 
And so I was like, ooh, I wonder how am I going to get those last two? Maybe I, I, I'm sure it'll happen at some point. But I was like, I wonder if there's something I could do to like push that, push it over the edge, just you know, two notches. <laughs> really cool. So, if anybody's here that's not following my Badger Makes account on Instagram, <laughs> do me a solid. <laughs> Great plugin. <laughs> yeah, we'll just plug that sucker right now. That was kind of exciting to see. That is exciting, especially with your, you know your art and what you've been doing lately. And yeah, yes, yes, yes. All right, figure out these people. These folks with their weird looking heads. One sixteen. We got plenty of time. I feel like time goes super fast when we do art together. Yes. As soon as I get in here and I'm like in the zone, it's like shoo, done. It's like wait, no. Uh, we just started three hours ago. <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt last night. And then three hours went by. I'm like, oh, I got to get off here. <laughs> I, I love to go seeing to bed. you stream on. I, I would be afraid to come in there and like derail the whole process with like, you know, bandwidth issues or anything. But oh, my gosh, it's so fun to have you doubled up and see your face, see your art doing your thing I'm so excited <laughs> it's like the coolest i love it i get so excited seeing you do it i was like i want to be like joe and badges yeah, have my I art like you, them i know you wanted to play with all the things and that's why i think i'm just so thrilled for you i was like oh my god you're doing it what is my ig it's uh at badger makes i believe it's connected to my profile but i will type it in the chat it's at Badger makes. That is the handle. God bless. I just whacked the heck out of that camera. <laughs> Maybe if it breaks, I'll buy a new one that actually is good. Um, I have to have my camera because I was having issues with focusing because it was really hard to see like the details of my work and stuff. So I had to bring my camera down way low. It's probably a good foot shorter, closer to my table than it was which means it's literally smack dab in the middle of where my monitor is so i have to like look around my camera to see like <laughs> the chat box i can see like the first three lines of it and then i have to like look around the camera to see the rest of it up top so it's like it's a mess i just need to upgrade my camera so that it's a better quality and it can handle being zoomed in a little bit but we'll just deal with it for now. Maybe whenever I hit my first cash out, which there will be, go. I have no idea how long, um, I can upgrade my camera. That would be a nice little goal. That would be. That would be a nice little goal. Sponsorships make the goal faster. Let's go. I know, I'm so excited. I got two sponsors. And I was like, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I I think I still have two. I have Sam Gonzo. He was my first first ever. And then lovely Michelle decided to sneak in there and give me a sponsor too. I was like, oh my gosh, that's like a big deal to me. I've never been sponsored before, like ever. <laughs> it's like I, I know when know. they but when we weren't VIP and they just gave out they were they told us that we could have our sponsor button open. Yeah. When we weren't VIP. I was like, oh, this is so exciting. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, I did yeah. that haps. I did that haps uh 
little logo thing and I got VIP <laughs> from that. I was like, <laughs> that's awesome. That was exciting. And then I deleted my account. Yeah. And then you're like, <laughs> I'm going to shut it down. Shut down the shenanigans. Oh, Stick man. it to the man. Take that. <laughs> it wasn't Hap's fault. It was me. <laughs> oh, man. It was. Like, screw you guys. I'm going home. Oh, fun times. Haps is a fun place. <laughs> We've got saxophone action happening. What is this? Oh. All right. I dig it. That's jazzy. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of the midnight. Yeah. I'm a little wee obsessed with them. I get you to for your. Did you sub to my IG, John? Okay, I'm looking right now. Let's see. Oh, two. Did I get it? <gasps> look! Wait. No, you can't look. Because it's too dang bright. Turn it down. Look. Look! You got Magic it? Magic Race is 400! <gasps> Congrats! You are awesome! Okay, that's really exciting. That's amazing! Here, I'm gonna screenshot that before somebody changes their mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great! That's great! <laughs> so, someone changes their mind on <laughs> me. Oh. <laughs> Your little John? Okay, I'll make sure to follow you back here later. I usually uh, rabbit hole IG after my streams. Um, yeah, she does. Because I have yeah. to post. I have to post my pictures anyways. So I'll definitely um, follow you back, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> rabbit hole IG. <laughs> I do. It's true. I was so excited when Carrie uh, followed me back on IG. I was just like, oh, she followed me. I was like, all my hairs just tingled. I was like, oh, like when Veda followed me. And I was like, yeah, like the girls started following me. I was like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I got the tingles <laughs> on my arms, <laughs> you know. I'm digging it. I don't know what it is, but I'm digging it. Dig it up. Oh, oh, dig it. <laughs> dig it, dig it Oops, dig sorry. <laughs> Des, were you in here for the conversation we were having about I, I I proposed the question of what was the point of having the like button on your own posts available to you? Uh uh. I was I was discussing because I was like, okay, it feels really weird to like your own stuff. So why would that even be an option? Because aren't you putting it out there for other people to react to? And <laughs> would it be narcissistic to actually put like put a thumbs up or a heart or whatever depending on the platform uh on your own content i've seen that a lot on facebook yeah and instagram where okay i'm just gonna say this where like strippers post pictures of themselves and yeah. they like them themselves it, it's yeah it's a thing so I want, <laughs> one of the comments that was made that they were like just go ahead and do it because it helps with the algorithm that is literally the best answer that I've heard thus far about the reason why you should do it. That's not cool. necessarily narcissistic. 
I always felt weird doing that. Like, I would just, yeah. like, oh. <laughs> but it does make I even, sense. Because I have two different accounts. I have my art stuff on one account and then, you know, all the other life things on the other. And so I will, at times, have each account, like, like each other's. But I feel really weird having Badger makes like its own account. But you know what? If you like your art, damn. Why not, right? That makes sense. <laughs> I mean, would you not, would you, would you post it if you didn't like it? Oh, true. Right, yeah, true. I mean, now we can get all philosophical about social media now. Oh. So, I mean, food for thought. It's a good discussion topic, I suppose. Oh, Proper etiquette and practices of social media. I say, if it helps the algorithm, why not? You're going to be there anyways, right? If it comes across as being narcissistic, I would say... I'm not trying to be full of myself, but if I didn't like my art, I wouldn't have put it on the internet in the first place. If it was not the way it was intended to be, would they not include that as an option for you to do? These are all questions that my brain ponders while I'm rabbit holing on Facebook at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Oh boy. I know. This is why I shouldn't quick. be up at 4 a.m. I shouldn't be on the internet that late. Because my brain starts doing weird rabbit hole questions like that. When you start googling weird googling weird things, yeah. Well, it's just like the people that, you know, you, you were talking the other day about how easy it is to rabbit hole on YouTube, right? Yeah. My brain does that automatically. If it sits in silence long enough, it starts rabbit holing on all these questions about life, the universe, and everything. And the answer 42 <laughs> does not satisfy it. So it continues nope. to ask random questions like, should you like your own posts on Facebook and YouTube? And, and, and maybe not YouTube, but uh, Instagram, social media in general. This is what my brain asks. It's the marketer within me. I was a marketer once in my life. But not one of those creepy, like, spammy marketers. Just like, you know, a, one of the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was one of the good guys, you guys. Sure, the electric. Sure. I remember this song. Be you. Be electric. Brian with the Creative Hi, Genius Award again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's going to fund my college, my kids to college, I swear. Your college? Your new college? <laughs> Not my, yes, I'm creating a college now. No, um, he's going to send my kids to college with all these tips, man. I'm telling you. Okay, I, I sign up for your college. <laughs> yeah. gonna be like one of those tony robbins things you have to buy a case of books and sell them in order to come i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh boy i do not like him sam i am i think i do not like green eggs and ham <laughs> for any tony tony robbins fans i apologize in advance i don't like him some people, like, worship the ground he walks on, and I don't get it. That's like brainwashing. I don't know who it is. <laughs> He's a motivational speaker and life coach. Oh. That has the, the answer to life, the world, and everything, apparently. Oh. One of those. Yeah, one of those kind of folk. Did he create a book, too? Oh, many. And you're supposed to sell it. Oh. No, thank you. Because it has his infinite wisdom in it. People treat him like he's a god, practically. I'd rather talk to squirrels in the hug a tree. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was a better use of your time, honestly. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look where Bob Ross. I mean, <laughs> he talked to squirrels and hugged trees all the time. Bob Ross. 
Speaking of Bob Ross, do you know what my brother from another mother did? I have to share this because it's amazing. You guys see this? Hold on. Let me turn that. Oh, he, yeah. I saw that on Instagram. Holy crap. This is like the final final because he like just sent it to me a little bit ago. Is that not incredible? Joe drew that, everybody. Joseph Aww. Burke at Joseph Burke Arts drew that. He's he's so amazing. He even got like the stripes on his shirt. Oh, you can see my the reflection of my face. Like you need to see that. <laughs> yeah. Look at all the detail, though, man. Oh my god. That's incredible. Talented guy, that Joe Burke. Yes, he is. Bless to know that feller. Bless to know that feller at all. He's a special free. All right, back to the space guy. I love our conversations. <laughs> I do too. They're great. They're not awkward at all. It's just, no. They're just funny. Flow. Yeah. Sometimes goofy, sometimes serious, sometimes informative. I mean, we had a really serious 15 minutes tonight. <laughs> we did. We had a very solemn little moment there. heavy notes there <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, okay I'm gonna move past this song because it's really annoying me now <laughs> the little beat. Let's see, which one can we play here? I would play that song, play that, but I don't know if it's actually going. Ah, screw it. If it is, it is. Space Ryan was, it. <laughs> Ryan was liking it. Ryan was liking it. Beats. We're going to take you to space now and tuck you into your little beds. As we wrap up the evening with space ambient music. And I have to talk like this the entire time. But not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'd be really good at meditation. Like Thank speaking. You. And the moon is in the seventh house <laughs> and Jupiter okay. aligns with Mars and peace rejoins the planet I don't remember the lyrics now damn it I screwed it up <laughs> I was trying so hard not to laugh <laughs> damn it damn you brain for mishap oh. firing the wrong time it's a loogie. It I loogie. It. <laughs> Ever since then, I've been using that yes, every Ryan's time. Like, Let's go. I am down for this meditation cycle. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a meditation for self care, but I was like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can take myself serious at this moment. I would probably come in there and derail the hell out of you because I can't help it. It'd be my evil side coming out. <laughs> I wouldn't, I would apologize. I'm going to apologize for my future self now if that ever does happen. Because I just can't help my damn self. Oh my gosh. 
Like, oh, like, I can't like, do my soul spiritual, like, like serious self anymore. Like this week, you know, Peter and Pablo, bless their hearts, when they come on here, they try to be as professional as possible. Peter comes across as an android. I swear to God, he's the sweetest mm -hmm. person on the planet. He's a good sport because we give him shit all the time. But I swear he's half. He's either training to be a ninja or he's half android or both. I haven't decided yet. But Pablo tries to keep everything on track and Peter is just like derailing him all the time. It's really funny. Anyway, so, so <laughs> yeah, when he's like, here, take this, it's your turn, take it. And Peter's like, oh no, I'm gonna throw it right back at you. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, oh. It's so the other day on uh it was like the community updates and like Q&A and whatever and and you know they had just finished doing their announcements and updates about the mobile app and whatever and they were like okay now it's this is the time if you have any questions and I was like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> you just totally like derailed the, the whole chat. conversation. I did not expect it to be acknowledged. I expected oh, yeah. it to be overlooked because you know they they try to rock that professionalism. Peter freaking read it aloud for all he, to hear. Yeah, he was, and he was, like, hey. was like, really? Really? It's so funny. And Peter was like, maybe you can do something on your broadcast, a collaboration. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can. Uh... Yeah, he really <laughs> it was like, here. holy crap. Props to Pablo for keeping Peter in line. I'm telling you. That was really funny. That cracked me up. That was. I was like, holy. You can't, you can't take me to places. I'm telling you, you can't let me out of my F off the leash. You can't take her to church. You, no, well, <laughs> I just throw some of that music in there because yeah, I know Brian's gonna probably be singing it in his head right now. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> He sings that song really good too. Mm. <laughs> I still, I, Brian, I really want you to sing Danger Zone. You've got that raspy voice that whenever you get into that chorus, oh my gosh, you could send it to the moon and out into the universe and blow up another galaxy with that. I swear. Mm. Totally could. I saw that. I was like, I don't think he saw that. <laughs> Danger Zone, Top Gun. Rock it, make some faces melt, make the girls swoon. Let's go. Oh boy. I mean, you already do that anyways, but if you needed some more swoon power. Linny and her comments to me tonight, I didn't know what to Ooh. say. I was like, Linny. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, no. She was getting on to uh, Mark Gage about the similar comments too, and that kind of was like, really? I don't know to take you seriously or as a joke, but it, I was getting a little bit of Karen vibes, but not like super serious. <laughs> I was like in Mark, I, I could sense there was some tension building with Mark. I was like, Mark, you're fine. You're cool, dude. It's fine. It's fine. But then she started making comments like that. And I was like, Didn't you just like tell him it wasn't appropriate to say that. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I just want to hear more singing and goosebumpiness because it makes the soul feel good. <laughs> like we're just trying to be here. so serious. No, the, the, we really need rain over here. <laughs> like, yeah, really, really. We really do. <laughs> when he was singing the rain song, I was like, we need some rain. Send me some rain. <laughs> she took it a whole like another level. I'm like, we need it to get moist over there. That. <laughs> no. <laughs> The trees need rain, not me. Make it rain. I couldn't hold my composure. Oh, that's funny. Whew. My brain. I was like, I'm I'm a sidewalk loogie now. Uh, automatically. That's great. Ever since we created that. Oh, you know what would be a, another really good song Brian would rock? Would be the um oh god. If you ever really love, really, really, really love a woman, you know what I'm. Uh, oh god, what's the name of that damn song? I'll think of it 
and then I will let you guys know what it is because my brain is not fully functioning on music at the moment. <laughs> he probably has already sung it a hundred times too. Just saying. Tranquil vibes. Tranquil vibes. <laughs> Of space ambient. I put a song like request in for Wagon Wheel. And I didn't even stick around to finish to see if he oh. did it. I was like, I'm just gonna go jump over to patches before Joe leaves. Oh <laughs> right, Jack is feeling. He, yeah, you knew he wasn't gonna be on too much longer. Yeah. Oh, Brian knew what I was talking about. I think it is Brian Adams, but I'm not 100% sure. But the 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 raspiness in that singer's voice would match up really well with your style and, and yeah. the way you sound. Yeah, Brian's raspy makes people melt. <laughs> it's great. Have you ever really, really, really loved a woman? I think, yeah, Brian Adams. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's it. Have you ever really loved a woman? And I'm not going to play it right now because then you have you. Hear it. Have you? <laughs> um, I've loved my mother. Does that count? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say that, like, oh, my mom. <laughs> but yeah, I there was a few loved women. My yes. mother. I will accept my mother as an answer for that question. Thank you. My first girlfriend was my best friend. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She was her name was Angel, and she was an angel. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, it's Jess. How are you? How's it going? Did you do that in like a formal? <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of said it and it was a weird accent that came out. It was not intentional. It, yeah. It was... How's it going? <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> you have your pinky out when you do it too? <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah, it was, it was holding the paper like this and so yeah it was out make sure you have a cuppa <laughs> cup of tea a cup of tea something like that I don't know. Uh, I feel like I need to harmonize with this ambiance music stuff <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. <laughs> um, do you ever fit? Do you you know this? You you're into music. Do you ever just get like this like random hair where you just want to like uh, harmonize with random crap like that? Just get like a Who, me? random music bug. Yeah. Oh yeah, always, Miss always. Miss Lady Singer. I'll always be like, especially like when I'm laying down at night and I'm like. It's just like a low key. I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, why am I doing this? Because <laughs> it feels good on the soul. <laughs> yes. I imagine that would be more like a soul massage. Would you like oh. a soul massage? Soul massage? I'll make sure it's not a Kundalini massage. There I go with my weird ass accents again. I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Sounded a little bit like Austin Powers, though, so I'll dig it. <laughs> Austin Powers. Would you like a show, Michelle, baby? That was pretty good. <laughs> I subscribe you all. Thank you for the subscriptions. Yes, yes. You were in Brian's when he was seeing the comments. Was? Oh. Really? Yeah, yeah. He was singing the comments, so whatever popped up on the comments, he was singing it. That's fantastic. 
It was great. <laughs> I always get this really awkward, like, I shouldn't be doing this feeling whenever I color a female boob. <laughs> Female like, boob. You get an awkward feeling. Me, literally, it's like it shouldn't be a big deal, but I'm like, I'm sorry. Pardon me, madam. While I shade your your under boob. You even pardon paused me. when you said boob. You're like, oh. yeah. <laughs> pardon, pardon me while I uh, shade this area under here to to give you some shape, so you don't look like a flat piece of paper. Pardon me. I don't want to violate you. While well, you actually lift up the paper to shade it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry, madam. Please. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. Please excuse me while I color the underside of your arm here. Sorry, it's just bumping up you. Bumping up against you. <laughs> shade me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dork. Good lord. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> I'm making myself crack up over here. <laughs> like if you can actually like pick, the, pick it up off the paper. <laughs> like the character cares, right? Holy Sorry, God. there's little here, let me get that highlight for you. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. Oh, oh. She's not even human. <laughs> I know. Freaking animated sub fembot style. <laughs> You're like part of me while I shade your <laughs> boob. Um, at this point of the night, I would say we're rolling right into delirium more than <gasps> just happy. At this, yeah, yeah, it's oh, fun. Crying. It's fun having <laughs> We have all sorts of goofball times here in the land of badges. Oh, I man. Yet. I haven't cried while laughing in a long time like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get that uh, feeling you're violating the characters you're drawing while you're drawing? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Uh, Joe's gonna go back on that one and make fun of yeah. you forever. <laughs> you probably will. It's it's also about this whole alien situation in the the crotchel the crotchel area. <laughs> you call it a crotchel? <laughs> the genitalia section here. It's got to be. What do they call their home. bitty parts? Do they say genital genit genit genitalia? Well, Is it like gin something. or gen? I guess it would depend on the alien species, on the location of said reproductive organs, if that's how they operate. <laughs> I don't know. When on Superman they had babies out of their backs? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I should know, but I don't. I think it was like Man of Steel, and like the mom was having a baby, and like the baby came out of her back, or like so the lower back. I think. No. I don't remember. No, right. <laughs> I mean, I would hate to have a baby. It come feels out of like my you're mouth. giving birth out of your lower back as much as it freaking hurts. Oh, well, you're pooping out. Or, I mean, you're. <laughs> I mean, you're pushing out your pooper. So. Just, just exporting a couple of documents there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a fax machine. <laughs> Just, you know. Oh. Tummy cramps. <laughs> oh, no. <nah. clears throat> <clears throat> These are the conversations of Des and Lindsay. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the late night chat when no one else is here. We get weird. It's fine. Literally. <laughs> it will probably never be nominated as stream of the week, which is fine. But 
we enjoy it. Oh, there was plenty of streams that got nominated for Stream of the Week, and it had. <laughs> And they were they posted the weird ones when they you no, when I came know, in and Joe was like, "Here's saying my name." Here's the, truth. here's the truth. There are so many moments in our live streams that would have been like money to pick from, and if he's picking Desiree singing, you know the 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 serenade of Desiree that is like G rated <laughs> and very yeah. mild compared to some of the shenanigans we get into he could like blackmail us for some of the stuff that we say on our streets I swear. oh my gosh like last night i said so many weird things i was just saying it for three hours straight i deleted the broadcast because i was like what did i say was i drunk no <laughs> but it was weird like some of the stuff but i have it on my my twitch i think but oh man weird stuff why did i talk about that <laughs> Get that right there. Yeah, he a, could. That yeah. super late night. Remember, remember, we stayed up super late so I could finish my gummy bears, and we were getting really dumb. Oh man, that was, that was crazy. But this one takes the icing off the on the cake, though. You yeah. trying to lift the lady bit parts <laughs> off the? Pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> Pardon me, when I draw your naughty bits. <laughs> It gets me thinking. <laughs> Maybe I should draw naughty pants and try to talk to the art. <laughs> well, usually that conversation remains in my brain, but for the the pure science of polling the audience to see if they're as weird and crazy as I am, we had to share it this time. I don't typically <laughs> draw a ton of anatomy anyway. It's not even human anatomy, so it's, I think you're good. <laughs> Whatever you want, anatomy. Do what I want, anatomy class. I laugh so hard, my tummy's like, feed me. Oh, no. <laughs> Get those moments. Today was great. Yes. some sky parts and then a little bit of shading of the head. Your shading looks so good. Thank you. There's not much left to do on his head, just around the just around the brain. I like the shading you did around their heads. That's cool. Yeah, it kind of makes it like like a, a little see through, but like it adds shape to the dome, so it's not just like a halo circle thing going on. Are you using a reference? Or are you using your brain? Yeah, I've got I've got a reference here. Um, if you look up retro space, there's a ton of like art that's stylized in like the movie types of like the 1950s like Mars Attacks kind of style Ooh. and uh, this one kind of spoke to me there's a lot of them that have girls like riding on rockets and weird stuff like that but um, I was like dude that alien is badass and it's got that stylized um, astronaut suit cosmonaut, cosmonaut where it almost made it look like a an ocean diver of the time, but they turned it into a spacesuit by putting a fishbowl on the top of their heads and sending them into space sort of idea. It's that, um, 
it's that era of time where space exploration was super popular but it was more fantasy than reality until they actually sent that person up on the moon and sent the monkey into space the whole space race time era with the um the atomic styling with all the you know the fun little geometric shapes and whatnot it's all that same time where the movies the sci-fi movies that had really shitty special effects <laughs> would imagine like these wild outlandish stories of scary aliens coming to the moon to attack whoever you know went to space first or whatever just <laughs> letting their imaginations run wild on what they could discover out in space once they actually made it there so it's kind of a fascinating moment if you look at how the entertainment industry of the time kind of exaggerated with their imaginations what in real life they would actually be experiencing so that's kind of a fun nod to this art style like watching that stuff then was really scary though <laughs> yeah it was terrifying because they really didn't know they really didn't know what they were going to find when they got there they thought they were going to be met with like little green men like this because that's what the movies told them right and my camera froze my entire head's been shaded now and uh i'm gonna have to reset that one moment uh oh me activate activate see now he has shade on his head it's like magic i tell you <laughs> so yeah they have these really cool like futuristic styled um posters uh that are almost like you know the postcards you get when you travel to different states that says see oklahoma or whatever um and they have kind of like this futuristic like postage stamp style postcard thing they have the posters um that are like see mars see venus and they're like these super futuristic styled artworks that kind of harken back to this style as well which is really cool that's cool. I almost got prints of um, a couple of them and put them in the kids' bathroom because um, I did a space theme in there for them. And I thought that would be a lot more interesting than cutesy, you know, sun smiling and whatever, because they're not toddlers anymore. <laughs> yeah. But did you get their, um, their star chart uh, printed out, like where the stars were aligned when they were birthed? How the stars looked no but that would be really cool they have that that's a good idea i did not even think of that maybe i'll do that for like christmas um the only thing is though i would probably put it in the bathroom just because of the moisture thing in the air yeah but that is a really good idea that i didn't even think of nice. yeah you can get like um when someone was born like basically any event and, and then, like, how the stars were aligned during that time, what they look like. Mm, that's cool. I don't know what it's called. Holy crap, this looks good. <laughs> oh, that sh Okay, I'm going to need a close-up of this shirt now that you've gotten some progress. <laughs> Holy smokes, Des. That's amazing. You like it? <laughs> I love it. That is amazing. Your pencil's starting to look like my pencil, though. <laughs> I, it's that the little one that's over there on the table looks just like mine. Mine is tiny. <laughs> oh, the the little number two yeah. pencil. Yeah. See, it's a little beady. We're twins. I, I, I was saying. I think it was last night or the night before. I was or uh, last stream or the stream before. I was like, I think this pencil will be retired at the end of the month because I'm going to use it all up drawing all these. Okay, so we're finished with his head. So let's focus a little more on the sky. God bless. We've already been doing this for two and a half hours. 
and it's already two o'clock. So we're gonna get this sky done quick. Cause it's my bedtime. Yep. It's my bedtime. It's crazy. Time it was just like 1.30 <laughs> when I last looked. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Official term for sky moving around. I call them swooshies. They are not really called swooshies. That's what I like to call them. That's a cute name. Swooshies? Yeah, swooshies. They're just little wisps of color and movement in the sky, usually clouds of some sort. They make whooshies. Michael Murray still hanging out with us. You're a trooper, dude. Yeah, he is. He's great. Trooper. Yeah, trooper. YOLO! Hi, Jeeves. Hi, Jeeves. Did you make it home safe? Oh, we asked him the same question. The same <laughs> question. <laughs> Come on, right? Oh, yeah. man. Can you tell we've been hanging out tonight? <laughs> stop, stop using my energy. <laughs> okay, you can borrow it. Okay, good. I'm glad you made it home. There's no rules. To the swooshies. You just do what makes you feel good. I don't know if this is space songs or underwater songs, but I really feel like there could be a mermaid swimming with a narwhal right now. <laughs> that sounds cool. Oh my gosh, you just gave me an idea for that painting. Ooh put like a narwhal in the background yeah and he could be saying bye buddy I hope you find your dad <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a nerd two nights ago I encountered a skunk in my front yard I'm glad I didn't encounter it this time well god bless can you draw me a picture please uh not this evening but maybe another time uh we are going to be signing off very shortly because it is my bedtime this mom's tired and has to get up early to take her children to school so we will be bidding you all adieu very soon but maybe in another stream i bet it would be fun to schedule a collaboration time where we do a, 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 a chat inspired doodle sesh again use our quick draw skills or at least attempt to develop some quick draw skills because i don't have them um yeah i struggle with that <laughs> <laughs> drawing quickly is hard to do accurately and not have it look like poop so yeah. yeah it took me two hours to draw the sleeve so <laughs> well it took me two hours to draw this guy too but all right let's darken up these rocks just a little bit on the edges here help them stand out don't want to lose too much lights because I get too carried away with the darks and then the lights get lost. That's not good. You don't want that. I'm starting to sound like PETA again. <laughs> Jeebs. No, no, no. No, no, no. 
So can I make an appointment? Um, yes, you subscribe to me and I will, uh, you'll be notified when I go live. Is there anything specific in mind that you're thinking of that you're wanting to have drawn? Thank you for the sub. Because we do have these art party nights where we have tons of artists come and draw together and it might be fun to do that. Right now we're working on a project called Sci-Fi Timber. So we have a prompt every day that we've been drawing from a list and uh, trying to get those done every day takes a little time for sure. But I bet you we could work something out. All right. So I'm amazed. I'm amazed that I haven't gone blurry this entire session. You know what? Have you? I don't know if you've noticed. I haven't been Pixel Princess in the last week. I know. It's so exciting. Um, and we didn't do anything different. <laughs> so. <laughs> thank you, Internet Gods, for smiling upon us. God bless you. I'm signing this sucker right now. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Time for bed. It's time for nighty night time. All right, so here is follow all y'all, follow me back. Sure will, Josh. Thanks. Um, did the camera freeze again? No, I just didn't turn it all the way. There we go. That is our finished retro sci-fi piece for the night. I will take pictures of this and post it on the Instagrams uh, for tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. And we'll it's be back. So good. We'll be back again to do tomorrow's piece, which is insignia. I already have it started. It's uh, I just bent the corner of this paper. That's lovely. Um, oh, it's no. going to be the Guardians of the Galaxy symbol for insignia. So that one should go pretty quick, and then I'll move on to the next day. Um, thank you guys for hanging out and for all the awards. Thank you, Brian, for spoiling the hell out of me tonight. Oh my Lord. Uh, you're worth it. <laughs> oh my Lord. And Mel and Yasin and, and Peter 2.0, keep rocking the tech. I pray for you in this platform daily that the mobile app works properly. Um, so um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful night. Des, thanks for hanging out with me. Thank Always you for letting me be all. here. <laughs> um, I am thrilled. I'm going to do just one last show of this beautiful self-portrait. Almost done. There's just a little bit of an arm left. Are we doing background too, or are you leaving the background as it is? Oh, that's going to be white, yeah. <laughs> okay. Whew. Almost there. Almost there. Almost. Four months in the making, three months. Oh, making. it's so exciting. I, I can't wait to see it finished. Um, yeah, so until next time, I will catch you guys all later. Um, and have a wonderful night. Talk to you guys Bye. soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>